One of the greatest features of InterSystem's Iris Data Platform is that it allows you to create your own custom data structures. You can use all of the other models supported in InterSystem's Iris, such as objects and tables, without creating any custom structures. But when your application needs more flexibility, these custom structures can provide powerful benefits on top of the built-in models. Let's explore why and how this works. When you create a custom data structure in InterSystem's Iris, data is stored in multi-dimensional arrays known as globals. They're called globals because once one process adds data to one or more globals, that data is immediately stored and is available globally to all other processes. You can easily start building your own custom data structure because globals don't require any declaration of structure or size. Globals can start small and automatically grow to be as large as you need. New data types don't require refactoring or modifying the schema or class structure as you would have to do with relational or object models. This both decreases development time and increases flexibility for your application to grow over time. Let's take a look at a simple example of an application that's used to store information about a store's clothing inventory. In this example, a global named stock is used to store information about the clothes, like their type, size, color, and pattern. In these globals, the first node defines the item, the second node size, then color, and finally pattern. The value, or leaf, then represents the quantity for that particular item in each size, color, and pattern. Notice here that global nodes are typeless, another huge benefit of using globals. So while the second node is an integer, the first, third, and fourth nodes are strings. And as you already saw, globals are so flexible that a particular node isn't tied to a particular type. So for example, shirt size may be better represented as a string. And nodes may have different children altogether based on their values. A necklace, for example, may be better represented with color and the length in inches. When the globals are stored, we can imagine them in a tree structure where each node is a child of the last. Nodes are then automatically sorted alphabetically or numerically. So if a customer is looking for all size 4 dresses, it's easy for the application to display a list of options by iterating through all the data nodes below stock, dress, 4. This completely ignores any global not related to size 4 dresses and quickly retrieves just the data the customer needs. And what's more, we can see here that data is stored in sparse arrays, not requiring values for each node and as a result giving you extra flexibility and saving you space in both memory and on disk. Even with this simple example, you can see how storing data in your own custom structure can be extremely powerful, especially when objects and tables don't give you the flexibility or performance you need. In object script, globals are stored exactly how you write them, but APIs exist for a variety of other languages, including Java, .NET, Python, and Node.js to store and retrieve globals as well. So far, we've discussed globals as just another storage model offered by InterSystems Iris. In fact, they are so powerful and flexible that they are actually at the core of all InterSystems Iris models. Objects, tables and their indices, JSON and XML documents, even the InterSystems Iris product documentation are all stored in globals. The flexible ordered tree structure can easily support other structures like graphs, queues, and linked lists as well. And what's more, you don't have to use the global structure with InterSystems Iris. You can still use the models that you're used to with the confidence of knowing that, if you do want to build custom models, you have lots of methods available.